if you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi. Yesterday, Apache has released its newer version of JMeter 5.1. In this newer version, there are a lot of core improvements, bug fixes, enhancements has been done. So definitely you need to check it out. The official uh, changes.html page in the jmeter.apache.org website, which will help you to take a decision whether you want to upgrade your jmeter to 5.1 or you will stick to older stable version. So if you go to this page, jmeter.apache.org forward slash changes.html. Here you can see the new and noteworthy incompatible changes, improvements, etc. So the main improvement is in JDBC sampler. Now you can enter the init SQL statements in JDBC connection configuration, which will help you to test your JDBC related applications. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a lot of uh, bug fixes enhancement has been done. Mainly you need to go through each and everything and see what changes and what property you have to add, uh, change, etc. And mainly I'm going to focus on the UI uh, improvements. So I already downloaded the uh, JMeter 5.1 and I recorded some simple flow in BlazeMeter uh, Chrome add-on. And this is the sample third group. Now let us see what are the core UI improvements. First thing is if you go to file menu and click on uh, templates and if you select a template called recording and here if you click on create you will get this uh, new options fill your parameters so here you can enter host to record recording output file and scheme to record and if you click on create button it will automatically add the relevant elements and then you are good to go with respect to recording and our further steps so this is one thing and now let us open the sample test plan here, which I have recorded. Now, if you go to tools and here you can see uh, new options, import from CURL, uh, generate schematic view, export transactions for report. So these are uh, new elements. So these two are in alpha feature, generate schematic view and uh, import from CURL. Now let us see uh, what is about uh, import from CURL uh, feature. So assume that uh, you have a domain or URL in your browser. I, you want to copy the whole uh, request uh, to JMeter. So instead of copy and pasting manually, what you can do is you can trace it. If you go to developer tools and click on network and refresh this page and select the request which you want to uh, import, right click, copy and select copy as CURL. Now go to your JMeter and go to tools and select this import from CURL and paste it and click on create HTTP request. So this will automatically create a HTTP request here. You can see on the path and also the relevant header information. So this is how you can create your HTTP request from the CURL format. Now let us delete this. And another important feature is uh, generate schematic view. So you can generate your uh, schematic view. It will uh, give one uh, HTTP uh, HTML file. So let us save it. We'll see. Yes, and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open it in my favorite browser. So now you can see the schematic view of your uh, report. So all, all you have to do is go to tools, generate schematic view and click on save and here you can see the schematic view. So this is another uh, uh, new feature in 5.1. So another important uh, feature is compile JSR223 test elements. So this option will help you to compile your JSR elements and then it will display the results in the log viewer. Now let us add some sample JSR223 element say Hello here. Now go to tools and click on compile JSR223 elements and bring up the log viewer. Here you can see compilation succeeded for the JSR223 sampler. If there is any error, it will display it automatically in the log viewer. See? So this is one uh, another feature. 
and this one export transactions for report initially it, it was in uh, help menu now it is in tools and similarly uh, the uh, uh, create heap dump and create thread dump it was in a different menu earlier but now these are under uh, tools menu and uh, similarly other uh, options there are not much changes if you go to look and feel everything is uh, similar to uh, 5.2 there is no changes here and these are the stuffs which uh, which are from the uh, ui side so those are the changes from the ui apart from that some notable changes are uh, if you go through this website you can see the one is uh, within recording the requests via https uh, there are various bugs has been implemented and fixed and now you can add the new property sub results uh, disable renaming is equal to true because it was uh, some uh, there was some bug in 5.2 now it got uh, fixed you can check it out and apart from this you can see uh, improvements in uh, live reporting and web report where you can pass hyphen e hyphen g options and also reporting folder if there is no folder exist you can uh, see the more user friendly behavior through minus f command line option and also percentile uh, graph over time has been modified and uh, you can see the incompatible changes like uh, response time percentile over time um, uh, client geometry engine signature etc so you can go through this stuff for more detailed uh, features and enhancements but from my perspective uh, usually i focus on whatever stuffs i need uh, for my project so these are the stuffs i figure it out uh, which will be very useful uh, for the upgrade so thanks for watching my video please subscribe to q insights for more such tutorials thank you